Welcome to our Real vs. Real series, where we break down the historical accuracy of all your favorite true sports movies. Today, we're taking a look at Home Team, starring Kevin James. Did the director stick to reality, or did they take creative liberties with production for the purpose of entertainment? The Home Team movie follows the true story of head coach Sean Payton after being suspended for the entire 2012 NFL season as a result of his part in the Bounty Gate scandal. The Netflix movie is based on a documentary produced by Sean Payton's daughter, Megan, called Cutting Oranges. Today, we'll be breaking down the movie into three sections, the bullshit, the gray area, and the accurate. First, let's talk about the scenes that have been debunked. These sections either have so many holes they can't possibly be true, they lack evidence, or they've been confirmed false by creators. This section is the bullshit. Were the Warriors really as bad as the movie made them out to be? Not at all. Movies need a conflict, which isn't provided with a dominating football team. It's a classic underdog story that's seen in sports movies like Rebound and Dodgeball, and a formula that nearly led to a Mighty Ducks 4. The truth is, they were a pretty decent team, starting their season with a 30 to nothing win. However, Sean Payton's arrival did cause them to improve dramatically. We should also note, Taylor Lautner's character is greatly inspired by Brennan Hardy, who coached the Warriors during the 2012 season with Payton while he was studying at TCU. We found no evidence that the grotesquely humorous scene where the entire team gets food poisoning and begins to vomit violently on the field happened in real life. It's another reminder that this is a football comedy, which keeps it one more step removed from real life. Beth Shuey did remarry to a man named Jamie, but no evidence indicates that he's anything like Rob Schneider's man-bun-flaunting, transcendental, meditating character. More notably, Peyton and Shuey filed for a divorce in June 2012, which was during Peyton's suspension and when Home Team takes place. The divorce wasn't finalized until 2014. Therefore, she wouldn't have been remarried during the movie's events. We should also note, they omitted Peyton's daughter Megan from the film. On the other hand, there's no proof of Gary Valentine's coach Mitch Bazone being inspired by any real-life Warriors coach. With the character's dependency to coach juice, one can only hope. It's for my uh, skin condition. Yeah. We've now reached the gray area. These scenes are either unconfirmed or contain partial truths. Instead of exploring the extent of Peyton's involvement in Bounty Gate, Kevin James turns him into a funny and lovable nice guy who finds redemption. While it's true he reconnected with his kids, the movie embellishes this and plays it for laughs. Of the character, James said that he is a combination of himself as a comedian merged with various aspects of the real coach. In the end, the story of Bounty Gate and Sean Payton's suspension is turned into a comedy and given the feel-good treatment. It's no wonder why Payton approved of this flattering, fictionalized version of himself in the true story. This is technically inaccurate, but we decided to throw it in the gray area. While he never contacted Bill Cower, he did contact Hall of Fame coach Bill Parcells. The actual Liberty Christian Warriors remained undefeated until late in the regular season when they were beaten 60-7 by the Springtown Porcupines. Knowing the Warriors would likely face the Porcupines again in the playoffs, Sean contacted his mentor to help him come up with a strategy to defend against the single wing formation. These final scenes stayed faithful to reality. These are all the parts the movie got right. This is the accurate section. Even though the basis of the film is about Sean Payton coaching his son's middle school football team, those going into the film unfamiliar with how true of a story it is may be surprised to learn that it is in fact based on reality. While lots of kids in football can claim that their dad is one of the coaches, it is much less common for the coach to be a bona fide NFL professional. However, in this case, young Connor Payton benefited both from a familial bond and some genuinely world-class coaching. Sean Payton turned down offers to work on television as an analyst during the 2012 season, stating that it would conflict with his son's football games and practice schedule. In answering the question, how true is home team, we discovered that Peyton used a scaled down version of the Saints playbook when coaching his son Connor's team. It's true that the kids were dumbfounded when they first saw the plays. Coach Brennan Hardy noted, he speaks a language that we never even heard before. 
A home team fact check reveals that turning off the scoreboard is indeed true. Coach Hardy noted we went from never doing that at all in 2011 to by week 3 and 4 of 2012, sometimes the scoreboard was getting turned off in the first half. This is also a testament to the fact that Sean Payton helped improve the team overnight. The Liberty Christian Warriors made it to the league finals, facing off against the only team that had beaten them in the regular season, the Springtown Porcupines. This time, with the help of Sean's coaching, they were able to constrain their opponent's single wing formation offense, and though the Warriors lost, it was a much closer game. Now this is probably obvious to some, but it's worth noting that the Saints did actually win the Super Bowl two years prior, like the film depicted. He was the head coach of the Saints at the end of the 09 season when they beat the Indianapolis Colts in Super Bowl 44. This was during the time that the team was involved in the Bounty Gate scandal and a little over two years prior to the start of Sean Payton's suspension in April of 2012. Sean Payton felt the best thing about the suspension is the time it's allowed him to spend with his children. Payton also noted it was a much needed break from the angst of the NFL and it allowed him to get back to the basics and remember why he loved football and coaching. The home team by no means takes an honest or in-depth examination of Payton's involvement in Bounty Gate. It instead offers a comedic fictionalization of what he did during his season-long suspension. While some of the details about Sean Payton's life during that time are in line with the true story, it's obvious Kevin James is not a truthful reflection of the real Sean Payton. Making a Mighty Duck-style inspirational comedy is probably the most flattering approach you could take to his story. It makes perfect sense that the coach gave the movie a big thumbs up. Let us know what you thought down in the comments, as well as what true sports movie you'd like to see us cover next. Thanks for watching.